The first few years there were not, no solo riders because people didn't think that it's possible. And the route was much shorter. So I think in the first year there were maybe 40 people or so. And then it has grown over time. And uh, so it was just a four-man relay event in the beginning. And then they introduced two-man teams. And then some crazy person probably thought, hang on a second, I think I can do it by myself. Yeah, and the rest is history. Now we have the last three, four years, we've just over got, got over 200 um, solo cyclists doing it. Um, I guess it's just a challenge. Huh? People just obviously the equipment gets better and the preparation gets better, and and the race gets better because there's a lot of feeding stations and so on. So we, it's not maybe not as as tricky or difficult as it was ten years ago um, because of everything around it that supports the riders. But yeah, it's still crazy. I mean, we've we've made changes almost every year, and this year is a similar route to last year. It's pretty much the same. The finish into Swakop is a bit different. But we're talking about almost 400 kilometers, huh? 397 now, so very close to 400. Borg added that this year holds no major surprises, but cyclists can expect a few additional kilometers to the race. He also said that most participants ride for fun, while others challenge themselves and some to commemorate a loved one. Well, so once they get introduced to the Nepang Desert Dash, they, it's a life-changing thing for, for a lot of people, you know. They, live healthier, um, lose lots of weight, take up sport, drink less or stop completely. And that in itself, I think, is, is just a major achievement. And if that changes people's lives for the better, and that's fantastic. And I mean, these people are not racing to, to get on the, onto the podium. You know, that's for the professionals and the people that hunt the prize money, maybe. But I think 90% of the people is just a challenge. Or they're riding for somebody. I was at Legacy of Love. Um, Two days ago, they have a, like a candle, candle function, annual thing. And, and they normally, the dash for them is they ride for a lost one, you know. If you've lost a friend or a father or a mother or a daughter or whatever. So they, they cycle for a purpose. And I think lots of people do. I always say that sometime in the night, so between two and four o'clock, you will ask yourself, why am I doing this? And it's then when it's getting difficult and tough and you're tired, you just want to give up, you're puking or whatever, you know, it's, you can go through all sorts of roller coasters in the middle of the night. And if you're then riding for a purpose, whatever your purpose is, then that keeps you going.